Let's try one more problem involving Charles' law. This time, let's solve for a new temperature. I'm giving a sample of gas. I know the initial temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, and the initial volume is 1.8 liters. I have a sealed container with constant pressure, meaning the amount of gas is constant and the pressure is constant. And I know that the volume is increased to 2.5 liters. So what will the temperature be? Well, volume and temperature are directly proportional. So I know that if I'm increasing the volume, I should also be increasing the temperature. So as we said before, Celsius is a no-no. So before I even get started with the problem, I'm going to take my 25 degrees Celsius and turn that to 298 Kelvin. So that's going to be my initial temperature, or T1. Charles says that V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. So we have to do a little algebra here. We're going to try and solve for T2 because we're looking for the new temperature here. So what I can do is I can do a little cross multiplication here. I could say V1 T2 equals V2 T1. And then I can isolate T2 here by dividing by V1. So I can say T2 equals V2 T1 all over V1. Alright, so let's plug that in. I could say T2 is going to equal V2, which we know to be 2.57 liters, times T1, which we found to be 298 Kelvin. I have to make sure that's in Kelvin. And I'm going to divide that by V1, which is 1.80 liters. So I get T2 equal to 425 Kelvin. Now it doesn't specify the unit, so we're okay leaving it in Kelvin. If you wanted to, you could convert this back to Celsius, and you would get 152 degrees Celsius.